And here's our little ducklings. Our ducklings are going to be leaving in the next day or two. Super cute little things they are. Now they're hatchlings. They hatch the day before Thanksgiving. I mean before Easter. Sorry. good shape and they're ready to go they need to be with other mallards because if they get used to people and getting fed every day uh, they won't know how to do it in the wild so they're probably going to go up to Bolivia and to a ladies pond who has other mallards and other ducks and uh, she'll make sure they get fed and keep them relatively safe um, the other option might be Boiling Spring Lakes but there are a lot of alligators at Boiling Spring Lakes mm -hmm. So I don't want to get them so far along and then let them get gobbled up the first day. The one's getting used to the water right there. <laughs> yeah. They're not waterproof yet. They don't have feathers. It's just they're, they're down. Right. Um, so it's going to take a while before they can do anything. But they can paddle just great. I put them in a big tub and they can paddle right around with the best of them. So anyway, that's the existing crew. We do have a turtle here. Sea biscuit does not normally care for reptiles or mammals. No squirrels, possums, bunnies, just wild birds, because we just don't have the room to accommodate them. But we will at some point in time. In the meantime, when we get this kind of a situation, an alligator chomp this pond slider behind Lowe's Home Improvement, and he is getting patched up and cleaned up, and uh, he has no sign of infection, so I'm thinking he can go very soon too. But he may need an epoxy patch on his on his carapace. Seal it forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're interesting birds. And right now I'm gonna release Jeffro. If you want to come on over and see oh, this guy. Watch out. Ooh. <laughs> As I said, if you had food to grass it. He's got a couple in his claws in my now that's a mockingbird there? This is a mockingbird, and we call him Jethro because if you remember Jethro Bodine on Beverly Hillbillies, <laughs> all he did was eat. Oh, that's what this guy does. Come on. Sometimes, I'm not going to feed you. Close him out. Oh, look. See, he can fly. Yeah. His tail isn't all the way in, but he flies beautifully. He can, he can zoom around even with half a tail. <laughs> and the other mockingbirds make friends very easily. So they come right over and take over. Back off so he if he wants to go back in, he can. The chances are he'll stay out there and just come and land on top and eat the worms. So anyway, that's our Earth Day celebration. <laughs> Hope you thank, enjoyed the little tour. Thank you very much, Marilyn. We really appreciate it. We wish we could be at Earth Day, but this is the this second is the best, best we can, we can do under the circumstances. <laughs> Can't we, even shake hands, but we, we, we appreciate it very much. So thank you. Thank you.